Hey guys, so if you've been wanting to know how to make a beautiful turquoise smoothie bowl that is made with natural ingredients, then I have just the video for you. Today I'm going to show you how to make what I call a mermaid smoothie bowl, and I call it that because this beautiful turquoise color reminds me so much of the beautiful ocean. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. So I've already frozen a banana, and I'm going to go ahead and add that to my blender bowl. Also, one cup of the frozen pineapple. And then our special ingredient, the E3 Live Blue Magic. I'm gonna add about a half teaspoon of this. And you can see it's really nice and very pigmented. And this is gonna give that bowl that really pretty turquoise color. And now I'm gonna add about a half cup of almond milk. And that's it, I like to keep my smoothie recipes pretty simple. So that's all we're gonna put in here. And then we will blend this up. It just takes a few simple ingredients to make this bowl. And then we're gonna have some fun with the toppings. And if the smoothie's too thick, just add a little bit more almond milk and that'll get it going. For the toppings, we're gonna add some granola, chia seeds, unsweetened coconut flakes. To really make the bowl look extra special, we're gonna add some organic raspberries and these very pretty, very cool edible flowers. Here's our finished smoothie. And as you can see, it's a really nice, pretty ocean blue color. Just wanted to point out quickly that notice I didn't add any sugar to this, and that's because I like to let the natural sugar that's in the fruit sort of be the star of the show. I did have to add a little bit more almond milk, but I tried to add as little as possible because I like my smoothie bowls really thick. Once you've got the smoothie in the bowl, then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start adding granola. And these kind of smoothie bowls, I think look most pretty when there's a good amount of the smoothie still showing. And I love how this granola looks sort of like beach sand. And we'll add some chia seeds. These are so good for you. Then we'll add some coconut flakes. These help the bowl look nice and tropical. I'm gonna insert this flower back here and then add the raspberries just to kind of spread out a little bit. All right, here's the finished product, your delicious, healthy, beautiful mermaid smoothie bowl. All right, let's go ahead and give this a taste test. It's really good. The coconut flakes give it a nice tropical flavor. And I love how sweet it is naturally because banana and pineapple are already so naturally sweet. This is definitely a winner, and I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Well, that's it for this video. If you liked this, I'm going to put another video over here that I think you would also enjoy based on this one. And I'll put a little circle over here if you'd like to consider subscribing so you can get my, any of my upcoming videos. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!